was heavy with the scent of wild flowers, and the nature seemed to be following its course, quite unmindful of the soldiers hiding behind rocks and camouflaged by mountain chabri. The birds sang as they always had, and the flowers were in bloom. Bees buzzed about lazily. Only when a shot rang out, the birds got startled and took right as if a musician had struck a jarring note on his instrument. The soldiers seemed to be getting tired of this indecisive war where nothing much ever happened. Their positions were quite impregnable. The two hills on which they were placed faced each other and were about the same height. No one side had an advantage. Most of the soldiers were already asleep except Jamadar Harnam Singh who was on a night watch. He began to hum a Punjabi folk song. Singh said, Where has this son of a bitch materialized from? The dog barked again. He sounded closer. There was a rustle in the bushes. Banda Singh got up to investigate and came back with an ordinary monstrous in tow. He was waking his tail. I found him behind the bushes and he told me his name was Junjun. Banta Singh announced. Everybody burst out laughing. The dog went to Harnam Singh, who produced a cracker from his kit bag and threw it on the ground. <laughs> the dog sniffed at it and was about to eat it. When Harnam Singh snatched it away, wait, you could be a Pakistani dog. Through your identity, Harnam Singh ordered the dog who began to wag his tail. There is no proof of identity. All dogs can wag their tail, Harnam Singh said. He is only a poor refugee, Banta Singh said, playing with his tail. Even dogs will now have to decide if they are Indian or Pakistani. The morning broke very suddenly as if someone had switched on a light in the dark room. It spread across the hills and valleys of Titwal, which is what the area was called. The war had been going on for months, but nobody could be quite sure who was winning it. Jamadar Harnam Singh surveyed the area with his binoculars. He could see smoke rising from the opposite hill which meant that, like them, the enemy was busy preparing breakfast. Subedar Himmat Khan of the Pakistan army gave his huge moustache a trivial and began to study the map of the Titwal sector. A few feet away, the soldier Bashir sat on the ground, his back against a rock and his rifle in front of him. He was humming. Suddenly, he heard Subedar Himmat Khan scream, Where did you spend the night? But this was not addressed to Bashir. It was a dog he was shouting at. What has he got around his neck? Bashir asked. One of the soldiers grabbed the dog and undid his makeshift rope collar. There was a small piece of cardboard tied to it. 
What does it say? The soldier who could not read asked. Bashir stepped forward and with some difficulty was as able to decipher the writing. It was Junjun. Subedar Himmat Khan gave his famous mustache another mighty trouble and said, Perhaps it is a goat. Yes, sir. It says it is an Indian dog. What does that mean? Subedar Himmat Khan asked. Perhaps it is a secret. Bashir answered seriously. If there is a secret, it is in that word Junjun. Subedar Himmat Khan studied the map again. Then he tore up the packet of cigarettes, cut a small piece from it and gave it to Bashir. Now write on it in Gurumukhi, the language of those six. What should I write? Well. Bashir had an inspiration. Shun Shun. Yes, that is right. We counter Jun Jun with Shun Shun. Good, Subedar Ahmed Khan said approvingly, and add, this is a Pakistani dog. Subedar Ahmed Khan personally threaded the piece of paper through the dog's collar and said, now go join your family. The dog waved his tail and moved down the winding hilly track that led into the valley dividing the two hills. Subedar Ahmed Khan picked up his rifle and fired in the air. In the Indians were a bit puzzled, as it was somewhat early in the day for that sort of a thing. The two sides exchanged fire for half an hour, which of course was a complete waste of time. Suddenly the soldier on lookout duty shouted, There he comes. Who? What was his name? Junjun? What is he doing? Just coming our way, Subedar Harnam Singh snatched them from him. That is him, all right. There is something around his neck. But wait, that is the Pakistani hill he is coming from, the motherfucker. He picked up his rifle, aimed and fired. The bullet hit some rocks close to where the dog was. He stopped. It soon became a game between the two soldiers with the dog running round in circles in a state of great terror. Both Himmat Khan and Harnam Singh were laughing boisterously. The dog began to run towards Harnam Singh, who abused him loudly and fired. The bullet caught him in the leg. He yelped, turned around and began to run towards Himmat Khan, only to meet more fire, which was only meant to scare him. Be a brave boy. If you are injured, don't let that stand between you and your duty. Go, go, the Pakistani shouted. The dog turned. One of his legs was now quite useless. He began to drag himself towards Harnam Singh, who picked up his rifle, aimed carefully and shot him dead. Subedar Himmat Khan shied. The poor bugger had been martyred. Jamadar Harnam Singh ran his hand over the still hot barrel of his rifle and muttered, He died a dog's death. Junjun 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 Junjun